हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू इंटरेक्ट विद डॉक्टर अनुपम आलोक ही इज करेंटली वर्किंग एज ए असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एनआईटी पटना एंड टुडेज इंटरेक्शन इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव एंड मोटिवेशनल ही इज इंस्पिरेशनल गाय स्पेशली रिस्पॉन्सिबल सीनियर द सपोर्ट आई गॉट फ्रॉम हिम आई कैन नॉट रिपे बाई एनी मीन I am delighted to interact with him today. He has so much experience. Today we will learn many things from him. So let us start. Thank you, sir, for joining with us today. Uh, we welcome, thank you. Thank you. We welcome to our channel and foundation. Uh, first of thank all, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, we would like to know about yourself, your native place, uh, academic background, and uh, your career journey. Uh, actually, uh, I am from I, basically I am from Bebusrai, Bihar, and I my basic education is uh, done from Bebusrai only. And after that, I uh, came Patna for further uh, education, like twelfth uh, uh, and preparation for the uh, AI Triple E. And after that, I completed that AI Triple E. On that basis of AI Triple E, I got uh, one uh, private college in West Bengal, that is Haldia Technology, Haldia. Uh, my BTEC is from Haldia Technology, Haldia, uh, from in 2010. And after that, I uh, got that uh, DTE, Delhi Technology University, for the MTech purpose. And after that, I uh, uh, my teaching experience after just after MTech. For six months in Dehradun Institute of Technology, Dehradun, uh, yes. and after that I got that IIT Guwahati for PhD. So I resigned there and I joined uh, IIT Guwahati as a research scholar. And uh, I meet uh, Manjis in uh, in the IIT Guwahati only. And uh, actually, my research actual research experience started in IIT Guwahati. Yes, and I complete. Uh, Uh, I completed that uh, PhD in 2019, and after that, I joined as a guest faculty in NIT Arunachal Pradesh, and uh, currently I am in NIT Patna. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. So means uh, you have experience uh, after MTech, you have experience, and after PhD, then you have joined NIT Patna. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. And sir, in uh, PhD, uh, you have done uh, PhD from IIT Guwahati. So uh, after uh, means just uh, when you submitted the thesis, that time how many papers you have? That time I have three papers. Okay, three papers. And uh, sir, what is your working area? Means the what is in which area uh, working? Actually, uh, in my research area, there are two parts. Actually, first one is the coating, and second one is the machining. Machining means hard uh, machining, uh, hard uh, machining of hard material. With the help of uh, coated tool, uh, in the term of cost-effective way, means uh, in present day, if we want to cut very hard material, then we have to go uh, very hard tool like CBN and PCBN. But the cost of CBN and PCBN is too high, so uh, I focused on the cost as well as the coating material, new coating material, and as well as that uh, hard material like uh, greater than 55 HRC or 60 HRC or 70 HRC like that. Okay. Okay. Sir, uh, as a PhD scholar in IIT Guwahati, what are the difficulties uh, you faced during uh, PhD? Uh, actually, uh, during my PhD, my experience is your learning process. Or uh, you started uh, to learn many things. Like first thing is patience. How can you uh, create patience and in, uh, in uh, You like and writing many things, writing writing skill, and after that, if you have a passion, if you have passion, then obviously you will completed uh, PhD in any tough situation. It's a very uh, big uh, challenge and big uh, uh, big uh, lesson in PhD. Okay, very big lesson in PhD. Okay. So what is your current research area? On what research area you are working now? You have, you have changed or sir uh, the same area you are working? Actually, uh, I'm planning to uh, work in two, two to three parts, uh, two to three area like uh, micro machining or texture tool machining, mm -hmm. like uh, 
machining with the help of texture tool and another part i i am going to that hybrid machining like uh, combination of combination of uh, more than one uh, machining process in one uh, manufacturing process that is hybrid manufacturing so i am planning to do that uh, 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 this uh, hybrid machining also Okay, sir. So now you are professor, assistant professor in an IT partner. So what is the selection process there, sir? Uh, from this year, the selection process of an IT partner is uh, like uh, 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 first of all at six uh, six thousand level. Uh, first of all, written is there. After yes. written, uh, uh, if you comp uh, that written is only for qualifying. If you qualify the written exam, then uh, you have to appear uh, for the interview. There are two uh, two part of the selection. First one is the written test, and another is the uh, interview. Okay, so only one round of interview is there, sir? Yes, so only one round of interview. Okay, and uh, uh, what is the difficulty level, sir, in the interview? Obviously, the uh, difficulty level means if your basic is good, na. If your basic is good, then uh, I think uh, because the panel, uh, I think I think because uh, I think uh, if you uh, if your basic is good, then uh, actually panel wants basic things from you uh, from your side. If your basic is good, then he, they satisfy. If your basic is not good, then uh, it will uh, very difficult to uh, face the interview. Any interview, not only an IT partner. uh but uh, also any interview actually uh, sir ye ek silly doubt tha ki material to jo today jo proceeding hai jo hum log conference ke through jisme publish karte hain iska type aisa bhi aur jo lecture notes hai so ye is type ka jo journal hai wo conference proceeding ke andar aata hai ya journal ke andar matlab jo form hote hain usme kis mein is mein actually actually like lect, uh, lecture note is under a uh, book chapter actually lecture okay. note is under book chapter and uh, like material today proceeding and other uh, uh, scopus journal uh, like material is uh, material today uh, proceeding is under comes uh, comes under uh, this uh, scopus journal okay so on conference proceeding is uh, uh, another thing some of conference proceeding is an uh, sci uh, uh, scopus or web of science but okay. these type of journal like uh, material pro, uh, material today proceeding and uh, etc is comes under uh, journal but that is scopus journal okay so means but, yes sir but you have you have to enter either conference or journal okay so means uh, either i can fill in conference or either we can fill in journal journal okay. obviously if your you, your paper is published in journal then you cannot uh, uh, fill that same thing in conference also okay okay uh, yes sir means uh, it is very clear that we are publishing in the material to the proceeding through conference so while filling hmm. the form for the nits or iits so we can fill uh, in the journal But if you are filling in the journal, so no need to fill in the conference. Conference, yes. Yes, sir. And uh, sir, now you are working there. So, what is the working environment there? Work load, uh, work culture, and work timing. Our work. Uh, work time. Work timing. If officially work timing is nine th uh, eight thirty to five thirty or nine thirty to five thirty, but it depends on you because uh, it's a uh, research uh, institute. so you can stay in lab uh, beyond that 5:30 6:30 it's up to you only okay and working environment is uh, very good actually very good environment working environment uh, uh, colleagues are very uh, cooperative and all members are very cooperative and students are uh, very good here yeah. oh students are very good sir okay yeah <laughs> so they are asking many questions or simply they will leave you no they are asking Asking, yeah. okay. They See? they ask actually they they ask actually really uh, are good questions. They ask very good questions. Okay, yeah. so it will give you benefit also. Yes, obviously. Yes, sir. 
so that is also i am feeling the same thing a question a student asked them. then we we are also uh, we are learning from them also so yes yes students is a very big part of your uh, learning process if uh, class is uh, if your class is very uh, interactive then you have uh, uh, they give big chance to learn yes sir yes sir what would you say about the scopes after uh, phd in mechanical engineering uh, especially for you yeah. one thing is uh, very obvious that uh, teaching line and another uh, in the present scenario um, there are many uh, research and development center uh, according to government or uh, obviously some uh, uh, that research and development is also active uh, for research uh, for phd students so uh, nowadays you can go in that line also like uh, mislin is also hiring phd students for uh, research and development maruti is also hiring uh, that uh, uh, research and uh, phd student for r and d purpose so r and d purpose and teaching line is uh, open for phd student and sir a scope uh, you have told a general a scope in uh, mechanical engineering that maruti so especially in your area if i asking you so what will be the scope will which company will uh, gen- prefer, uh, prefer if anybody will do phd um, under your guidance actually in the in the present days na if your work uh, uh, cover that coding and uh, some simulation part na then uh, each and every company is open for you okay. means some uh, some coding uh, if you know coding part and some uh, simulation part like uh, and obviously in today's scenario ott is very popular if you if you can apply ott uh, type uh, platform and uh, some simulation part and some uh, coding part then each and every uh, r and d is open for you oh miss a uh, simulation yes sir, i have seen uh, in your work simulation is there so it is a uh, uh, vast scope is there if you are learning uh, new things in the mechanical engineering new area and also uh the simulation so these things are very much required i think very very much required very much required okay, if so. you are able to code uh, uh, um, your problem in code language or in uh, any language mathematical tool you can use then uh, obviously uh, r and d sector is open for you okay okay so you are already in well settled in uh, nit patna as an assistant professor and simultaneously ha uh-huh. simultaneously yes, you are doing research also so what is your future plan after this uh future plan is to uh, do work uh, in different areas like uh, uh, micro machining or uh, some different um, broad area so <laughs> i can so i am trying actually i am trying yes, sir and uh, that is important part so still you have not got married when you will get married okay <laughs> uh hope so very soon <laughs> very soon very soon okay so now we have come to the last point sir uh, what would be your best suggestion to the students who want to do phd especially in mechanical uh, engineering so what is the current scenario what will give the best suggestion uh first of uh, first is sir you select the topic according to the environment or uh, present in environment because uh, uh, our environment is changing very fast okay yes, uh, day to day life so select the topic according to the change, uh, uh, environment change or change the environment and after that uh, uh, publish paper yes sir. publication is necessary and uh, in uh, because uh, there are huge uh amount of phd students in the present scenario so prepare your basic as well as for written exam okay so means sir uh, you are suggesting that first choose the uh, topic wisely then you choose uh, where after uh, getting admission there you have to publish uh, many papers as because as uh, students are increasing day by day and uh, then you have to also prepare for the basics 
Uh -huh, because uh, you, uh, your path is not easy now. Because yes. your computer is huge. Your computer, uh, computers are uh, in, uh, I think, uh, in too large actually. So you have to prepare for that. Uh, not only in PhD point of view, you have uh, you have to think about your uh, competition after the PhD. So first, uh, but first of all, you have to choose the uh, topic. What is the future scope of that topic? What is the broad area? Because uh, uh, in the present, like in the present area, OTT, everybody, uh, to, everybody is talking about OTT. Yes. Sir. So, uh, like, uh, like that, we, we have to search. We have to search. What is the uh, area? Uh, what is the area? Uh, uh, what is the uh, today's area actually? So that uh, it will be beneficial for the future. And sir, uh, uh, that is, uh, so I have asked uh, almost uh, all the questions that is required, I think. But uh, sir, something if I am missing, so any other information you want to share? Uh, I think, uh, okay, so today is in the, in the present scenario, uh, everybody, everybody says, okay, mechanical situation is too bad. Yes, sir. In each and every in each and every place. But my suggestion just wait for six months or maximum one year. One year, uh, the old days will uh, come. It's my priority. Uh, is my, according to me, it will come again within six months or one year mm -hmm. for mechanical strength. Not only uh, BTEC strength, uh, but also MTEC or PhD. It will come. Uh, obviously. In the present scenario, it is very difficult for mechanical, but within six months or within one year, it will come again. Yes, sir. So, yeah. Yes, sir. Nowadays, what is happening, sir? Uh, this PhD student, BTEC student, MTEC student, they are demotivated actually, who is uh, studying a mechanical engineering. So, this is the best thing I've told uh, that uh, within six months or one year, it is going to change. It is the circle. Yeah, it's obviously it will come. Yes. It, it is the circle, it will going to change. So now thank you, sir, uh, very much uh, for giving your valuable time. Thank and, you, sir, for joining with us today. And interacting thank you, thank with you, us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and your words will definitely motivate the mechanical engineering, uh, who especially who is going to take PIT as a, a career and also the BTEC and MTEC students. So that now they will learn that this thing will going to change. So don't worry, you will get the job, very good job you will get. Obviously, yes, yes. Yes, sir. So that is very much thank you once again for interacting with us. Thank you, Manjit. Thank you.